Guys, quick correction to this video you're about to watch. Remember, I don't use a script and I'm old. I get stuff in my head. I say the wrong thing. The antenna I'm talking about using on FT8 is a 10 meter, two element MFJ Moxon. I've had it up for years. I've had really good luck with it. At one point, I refer to it as a two meter. It's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about a 10 meter Yagi, but I've been working 10 meter FT8. Thanks a lot, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Save the three. Buddy, KB5MIQ Big Boy here. Seeing a little shack rearranging for the subject tonight. And uh, let me move this around here back to the other thing. Uh, got a couple things we're going to talk about tonight. Uh, first off, a little, couple housekeeping things. Chris Howell's doing a lot better. He's out of the hospital and improving. I still need your prayers. Vern Sick still having medical issues. Y'all be sure and keep them two hams in your prayers. They do us real good work. And hope they get both of them get to doing better. I had a ham email me when I asked for tips for helping you guys out. And he got some pretty good ideas. Um, and these are just his ideas. And I kind of think they're all pretty good, especially to get people in the hobby or get new hams going. He said 10-10 uh, clubs on 10 meters, you know, stirs activity up. I've got a few country contacts doing that. Uh, being active, I'm assuming physically active, include ham radio, do a little walking, take your talkie with you. Uh, POTA, people are still finding out of it and like to do the paper chasing. Old radios, and we talk about old radios. Hey, there's old ham radio cat done. Jump that up, there she goes. <laughs> And we talk about older radios on this channel a lot and things to know about them and get into stuff like repairs. New radios, what he calls entry level, mid-level, upper level, then the un unobtainium the a can will buy or use in seven to 10 years. So, hey, Ross N5TTT, thanks for the input. I appreciate it. And uh, we're gonna talk about a subject to maybe help some new hams out tonight. Okay, I've got a couple of things we're going to another thing to bring up where's my other don't pad at there'll be some pictures on here of km5 vk it's got a 70 foot ron 45 fold over complete tower set and all kinds of accessories and hardware with it he sent me a bunch of pictures i'm only going to put a couple on the tail end of the video here tonight um his email is on his qrz page and I got his phone number. Uh, I don't want to put his phone number on the video, but if you're interested, uh, shoot me an email. My email will be in the description. Also, is on my QRZ page. I'll send you all the pictures and his contact info. But uh, good looking set of tires. Somebody wanted to invest in a real good, bigger tower. Okay, we're going to talk tonight about uh, two things. Number one, log book of the world. Hey, Ham Radio Cat. Uh, I learned something from Law Book of the World the other day. Uh, I put a new computer up. I went to get on Law Book of the World. Evidently, my certificate's in my other computer, and I didn't realize that, and I'd already took it down. Uh, got, uh, got to give some kudos to Law Book of the World help desk. They helped me out and got me going here in about less than a day, so I'm back putting Law Book of the World in. Um... Like I've said in earlier videos, if it hadn't been for Scott uh, W, I can't remember, it's Bourbon DX and YouTuber helping me out, I probably wouldn't be on the flow book of the world. But I'm going to keep using it uh, strictly because guys use that for their awards. So if you've worked me, I will put it in the law book of the world, I promise you. I still say it's a clunky website, and I'm the computer caveman, so remember that. I, I think it's a clunky website. 
Okay, we're going to talk about I'm on FT8. Now, I do not want to turn this into a, a grounding, lightning protection arguing video at all. And I know FT8, there's a love-hate relationship with it. But whether you like it or not, it is a super popular mode right now. And I'm still learning it. I'm not going to try to explain the ins and outs of FT8. I'm going to show you my setup first off. I want to give a big shout out to K1ENT Kent, the Broken Circuit Ranch YouTuber. He's loaned me this radio and the connections hook up for FT8. And uh, his tech support helped the computer caveman out. I had to, had to slow him down once to remind him, hey, remember, Kent, I'm the guy who thought Raspberry Pi was a dessert. So, but he, was, he helped me get it going. And Kent, <laughs> And to be honest with you, I'm a little amazed at it. Uh, is it something I'm going to keep doing? Probably not. Not right now. I'm going to be on FT8 probably through midweek. I'm going to take this rig back to Kent probably middle of the week. Um, I like voice radio. I can't help it. I like making voice contacts. Um uh, I like a two meter packet. It still has some personal connection to it because you typed in your messages. This is strictly automated messages and your computer making contacts with your radio. Not knocking it. I found it interesting. Uh, what has really amazed me is I got on this Thursday the 28th in the afternoon. I haven't been on it all day long or nothing since then. I've only been on 10 meter. FT8. The reason I've stayed on 10 meters, that's my best antenna. It's got the best resonance on it. I've got a borrowed radio. I want to put, take a chance of running on one of my other antennas. I've got to do a little work on. And the band's been open. I have made 29 FT8 contacts. 16 of those were DX contacts. And 13 of those have already been confirmed in QRZ. It shocked me how fast people confirm FT8 and QRZ. Uh, actually, I've been trying to work, I like four countries finishing out Central America, and Ecuador is one of them, and Ecuador was my second FT8 contact I made on this. So let's talk a little bit about what I got set up here. Like I said, I'm running 940S. Kent had a Saratoga Easy PSK link for a Kenwood 8 pin. And running the radio on box. The only connection to the computer is the mic and the audio. I'm running on a 28074, which I've got my display at 737, because that's about how much of my frequency. Made a contact when I sat down here. You can see when you get on your perceived frequency side of this WSJTX program, when you make a connection, it turns red and then your stuff's yellow. And it's, uh, it's interesting. It's interesting. I'll say that much about it. You got your preset messages here. Five seconds, you got a contact now. Um, you just go on to the next one. All this is what I'm seeing on, uh, right now is what I'm picking up. I've got this radio set running about 30 watts on FT8. Been working, had it on all day, been in here off and on different times on it. I can see where a younger person that is really into computers could really benefit from using this mode. Or if you got somebody that's just a total mic fright that they just will not talk on the radio, this will be a good way to get them into to HF and in the ham radio. Uh, it's a mode we have available, one of the many modes we have available, and I've never knocked any mode we've got, whether I do them all or not. But as popular as this mode is, I felt like I needed to try to at least get on it a while for the channel to try it out and uh, talk a little bit about it. And Tex can work FT8 in the bottom of the portion of the band because it starts with data, CW, and RIDI, and that's where they got their CW portion. 
applaud with their voice portion three to five, 28, three to 28, five. So text you get on HF doing this right here, put up a cheap dipole antenna, homemade dipole. Depending on your radio is depending on what type of uh, connection you're gonna have to have. I'm not up on that, whatever radio. I believe the 991A has already got a sound card in it, so you just need whatever interface of the computer. The WSJ, WSJT-X program is a free download. Um, it's, it's interesting. Kent told me I could actually set this up to where it would auto-CQ send all the responses and put it in a file, I could just walk off and leave it. I didn't want to do that for two reasons. One, I can't learn it. I'm still for trying to figure out certain things the program does and I have to be here with it, my hands on it for me to learn it and understand it. Number two, I watched too much Star Trek sci-fi in the 60s. When you turn a computer loose by itself, that's how you get death rays shooting out of them and they take over the world. Talking about that, but I got to have my hands on it, so I haven't tried any kind of automatic robot mode with it. It's interesting to see how the contact's been made and how the band is propagated with it. This two meter, two element uh, Yagi I run has got a lot of gain in the direction I'm working in. The band has to be open really good for me to work something off the back of it. A lot of times at night we'll have people check in Pacific Northwest and I can't hear them if the signal's down, but I'll turn around and I'll be the loudest one on them. I can hear them real good once I get on them. I made a lot of contacts today on the West Coast with the antenna pointed due east. Uh, Canada, I've worked several bunch of Central America stations, worked Switzerland this morning on FT8 and worked Spain about midday on FT8. So, I mean, is it as cool as voice radio? Personally, to me, it's not, because I enjoy talking. But I can see how this could be popular. How this, why this is so popular, if it's what it is. Um, it's interesting. And I may get back on it later on my 897. I've got a Radcom Buxcom unit and have a little trouble getting it to interface with my radio. But I, if I get the right interface, I may get back on FT8. I'm not going to delete the program, but I do want to get Kent's radio back to him. Kent, thanks again. I appreciate all your help. Well, guys, that's about all I can say about FT8. I'm not going to try to tell anybody how to use it because I'm still learning how to use it. But new hams, tell them this is an option they got and help them figure out how to get on it. Guys, y'all remember Main Trading Company? He has got a bunch of year-end sales going right now, new and used gear. Got a bunch of good stuff coming out up there at Main Trading Company in Paris. So y'all remember Richard and Christine up there at the store. Guys, we're at uh, 1057. We hit 1100. Got another little giveaway. I've got some books I'm going to add in with this kit and this speaker we're going to give away at 1100 subscribers. Thanks again, everybody who subscribed to the channel. This is KB5MIQ, Big Boy, 73.